Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. What we are going to do today is the double stocking knit stitch. Now it's already started on my loom. I'm going to restart the video of loading up my pen and then we're going to cast on using the twisted knit stitch and I will explain why that is in just a few moments. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna pick you up right back at this spot and we've just actually done the stocking knit stitch. Here we're going to do the double stocking knit stitch next. So let me play that and I'll be right back in just a moment. So grabbing a piece of wire, could be floral wire, could be anything if you wish. Then just put the yarn onto the wire where it folds and then take in the other two pieces, uh, the two sides and just put them through and pull it through. It's easier than just trying to push that through that. Okay, so there you go. This is good to go. This is using Karen uh, Sprinkle Cakes by the way and it's a chunky weight yarn so you can double strand if you have to if the thickness is not big enough for you. So let's begin to do this stitch. Now remember with these flat looms you can go as big as you wanna go so there's much longer versions but this particular one is just a shorter one for demonstration purposes. I would like you to start off with the slip knot so I'm gonna pretend that you don't know how to do a slip knot. So you're just going to take the yarn and take your pointer finger and wrap the yarn twice. Okay, so yarn, wrap twice. So point and wrap twice. Noticing that this is already on, it has to be on before you do this. You're going to take the back one that's on the back of your hand and jump it over the forward. So it's a game of leapfrog. And then you're gonna take this new back one and this frog is so excited when he jumps over the other one, then he jumps right over top of the finger. And that is your slip knot that you're going to start with. So wrap in your finger twice play the game of leapfrog. The back one jumps over the first one and then the new one that's at the back is so excited he jumps over and goes right up over top of the finger. And therefore that is your slip knot and that's the one I want you to put right here. So put that on there and secure it by just pulling it a little bit snug. Don't pull it too tight and tuck the straggler so that it's inside the loom like that. So let's begin with your yarn coming out of your tool. If you can hand wrap it with your hands if you prefer but I don't prefer that. And I'm just gonna come in between the two pegs here and I'm just gonna trace the yarn around the peg. So it crosses over, it's called the twist knit because it's twisting over. So now you're gonna come to the next peg and go on the outside and then back over and then come straight down. And always making sure that it's crossing over. The only time it doesn't cross over is the very last peg of the row. So you're just gonna continue to go all the way down. And you can get faster and faster and faster and faster and start really whipping around this thing. Now when you get to the outside here you're gonna twist around and you're gonna twist around this one. So here's where it slightly changes. When, in order to go back the other direction you have to come straight up, twist around and then you have to catch the one that you were just in and go around. And then start moving it back in the other direction. So you can go as big as you want to or short, it doesn't matter. And then you're gonna come around the last one and zip around to the outside. So it crosses right over that last one. So that's the first one that you wanna knit with so that it doesn't unravel. So knit that one first. So take the bottom over the top and now you can let it rest. It will not fall out. It's easier to pull these loops off. So just tilting the, the loom up and pull those up and over. And you're gonna work your way all the way down. The tension is existing because you just wrapped it so it's easier to deal with the tension in a pulling motion than it is to push up. And then once this side is complete you're gonna flip it in the other direction and take the bottom over the top because the tension is now gone nice and easy. 
and it's away from you and the way that it's making your wrist twist it's so much easier than if the tension was on this side and you're kind of fighting with it to go over. So next we're going to actually wrap it stocking knit style. This is twisted stocking knit and this is the way to kind of get it started so that the very first part does not fall out and it will now be locked into position going forward. So using your thumb just glide and push and you're resetting and let's begin. Okay now that you've successfully cast it on with the twisted knit stitch you're going to see everything's gonna lock. So the difference between the stocking knit stitch and the double stocking knit is the amount of times that you're wrapping. So right where we're sitting right now is that we are going to begin and we are going to start and we're gonna come across. So just there and we're going to zigzag back and forth on every other peg like this all the way to the other side. So the stocking knit stitch is going all the way over and then around the outside and then back. And then when you get all the way back to where you had started this is technically where you would uh, do the stocking knit stitch but you're not done. This is called the double stocking knit stitch. So just lightly just push it down a little bit just so you have room at the top of your pegs to play with and then you're just going to begin wrapping again. So start and wrap and doing every other one like you had been before. And then of course around the outside you're gonna circle around and then back over and come all the way back. So they're technically you can double strand if you need the thickness but technically there is only three strands on this loom. So what you wanna do is that you wanna make sure that you have three strands here for that and the bottom is gonna come up over top of this of these two here. So this is the last one that we wrapped so it's the first one that we need to knit with so that it will hold it in position so it does not unravel. So therefore you can safely let that go. Now what you can do is just flip up. It's easier to pull the uh, yarn off. So using the two bottoms you wanna pull up over top like this. And then the two bottoms and up and over. Now the tension is on here because we just wrapped it. So once you start doing this you're gonna realize it's gonna get looser and easier. So when you do the other side it'll be much easier to be able to grab on and push it up over top without having to turn your loom. If things are getting a bit dicey of, uh, of uh, strands falling off then what you can do is be a little patient about it and toss the first one and then toss the second one. It's up to you. I would try to get both because I'm lazy and also because it's practical. So you're gonna take the two bottoms and go up over the top. Then you're going to turn it up the other way and take the two bottoms and push up and over. So this side has no tension left so you can just grab it and you can apply this and you have a kind of almost a double thickness going on and it looks cool, quite lovely when it's done as well. So this is called the double stocking knit stitch. I will show it to you one more time just to make sure you got it. So once you have it all the way to the end just use your hands. There should only be one loop left and toss or push down like that. Okay so let's just do this again. So you're just gonna come up and, and across. I would stay towards the middle of the pegs so therefore you don't have to push them down and then coming back and that was the first time. So that would be this stocking knit stitch but doing it one more time will become the double stocking knit stitch. And then that's it. 
So this is the last one wrapped. So you wanna take the two bottoms. I think before I only took the one bottom. You take the two bottoms and go over. And then that's secured enough. And then you're going to take the other two bottoms up here and work your way all the way down your loom. It's much easier on my lap than it is on a table but that's your call on what you would like to do. And the project is gonna get bigger and it's gonna fall out through the middle of the, the loom coming out on the other side. And this is the double stocking knit stitch. It's really like there's no, uh, the pen just makes it so much fun. And you can push down as you go as well. So go all the way down. And once you're all back across just use your thumb push down and the project is growing out on the back side right here. So this is the double stocking knit stitch.